फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रशांत पाटिल जैन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बड़ेगा प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लस द बेल आईकॉन सो दैट यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन लाइक द वीडियो कमेंट एंड शेयर इन दिस वीडियो अनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑन नॉन होमोजेनियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व यर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व यर इट इज डी माइनस टू द होल स्क्वेर इंटू वाई वेर फॉर वाई इज इन डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल ऑन एक्स ओके वेर डी इज अ डिफरेंशियल ऑपरेटर डी वाई डी एक्स ओके वेर फोर एंड द राइट हैंड साइड इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स अगेन वेर फोर द सोल्यूशन कंटेन्स टू पार्ट वन इज सी एफ एंड अनदर वन इज अ पी आई देन फर्स्ट सी एफ टू फाइंड आउट ओके फर्स्ट टू फाइंड सी एफ वट आई डू डी इज रिप्लेस बाय एम to find our auxiliary equation auxiliary equation is given by is m minus to the whole square must be equal to 0 or m minus m minus 2 equal to 0 twice it is two times therefore m equal to 2 twice the repeated root that is m equal to 2 2 two times if the repeated roots are there then the cf is given by therefore cf Equal to y c equal to I can denote notation just y c equal to I can write it as c one plus c two x into e to the power two x I can write that is my y c what I can write then to find out p i second part okay to find p i to find p i that is particular integral I can write it as y p equal to okay p i equal to y p equal to I can write Right hand side, that is eight into bracket e to the power two x plus sine two x plus x square and whole divided by this d square plus two. I can d square d minus two the whole square. I can write or y p is equal to I can write it as eight into bracket e to the power two x divided by d minus two the whole square. Plus sine two x divided by d minus two the whole square plus x square divided by d minus two the whole square. I can write because uh, separate three terms I can write. Now solving this together will become a tedious process. That's why I will call it as eight times p i one, p i two, and p i three. All separately I will calculate and I will substitute here. Now consider P I one now. Consider P I one equal to e to the power two x divided by d minus two the whole square. Okay. For our simplicity, let me expand this denominator so that you can easy to evaluate. That is e to the power two x divided by d square minus four d plus four a minus b the whole square. A square minus two AB plus two square. We can do. Okay. Now it is of the kind ty type one. Therefore, D must be replaced by two now. That is, PI one is equal to e to the power two x divided by two square minus four into two plus four. That is, e to the power two x divided by four minus eight plus four. That is. e to the power 2x divided by 0 therefore this is not the pi because denominator is becoming 0 if denominator becomes 0 then i have to multiply by x into e to the power 2x divided by differentiation of denominator with respect to d that will become 2d minus 4 plus 0 correct in this again d is replaced by 2 Again, d is replaced by two. Then I am going to get x into e to the power two x divided by two into two minus four. That is x into two x divided by four minus four. That is x e raised to two x divided by zero. This is not again a particular integral. Sorry, pi. Therefore, again we have to multiply by x. Already x is there. Once again we have to multiply by x. That is. X square e to the power two x divided by differentiation again of two d minus four that will become two. Differentiation with respect to d 
this is zero therefore this is my pi no denominator is not becoming zero now therefore it is a pi one now okay and you can observe here you are replacing d by two d by two therefore two is one of the root repeated root in my uh, cf that's why it is becomes a two times a zero okay same thing pi two i will calculate now pi two sin two x divided by d minus two the square i will solve now now pi two consider pi two as sin two x divided by d minus two the whole square that i will expand that is sin two x divided by d square minus four d plus four i will use a minus b the whole square okay whenever sin 2x or cos 2x is there we are replacing okay replace d square by minus 2 square that is nothing but minus 4 only d square is replaced by therefore my pi 2 will become sin 2x divided by minus 4 minus 4 into d plus 4 that is nothing but 4 4 cancels we will remain with Sine two x divided by sine two x divided by minus four d minus four plus four cancels only minus four d will remain. But one by d no plus term is there. Therefore, I can take it as integration. That is minus one by four times integration of sine two x dx. That is minus one by four times integration of sine x sine two x will become. Minus cos two x divided by two. Correct. One by d is nothing but integration because d is a okay as a, d is equal to d by d x. One by d is nothing but integration. This thing we have to use. Okay, integration with respect to x. Therefore, my pi two is nothing but pi two. I am getting it as a Minus of minus plus cos two x divided by eight is my pi two. Okay. Similarly, pi three I have to calculate. What is my pi three? Consider pi three equal to x square divided by this. X square divided by d minus two the whole square. Again, I will expand this. X square divided by D square minus four D plus four. As the numerator is containing a polynomial, to find out its pi, I have to actual division method. I have to do. Okay, this thing I will explain here. And the denominator we would write in the ascending powers of D, and numerator we would write in the descending powers of X. Therefore, it is nothing but four minus four D plus D square is. Actually divided by x square. Okay, now what I have to multiply to four to get x square. That is my quotient. I want to calculate. I want to eliminate x square. So what I have to multiply to four. I will calculate here by the side. I will start from here. Four into something k must be equal to x square. Therefore, k is nothing but K is nothing but x square divided by four. I have to multiply by x square by four to get x square here. Okay, therefore I will multiply x square by four. Then that x square by four should be multiplied to whole this term. That is nothing but four minus four d plus d square into x square by four. Four into x square by four. Four four cancels x square minus. Four into differentiation of x square two x divided by four plus second derivative of this. This is the first derivative differentiation of x square by four. This is first derivative. Another differentiation will become two x divided two divided by four. That is nothing but x square minus two x plus one by two. Clear? This thing I have to subtract here. This is actual division method. What is what you are doing? That is nothing but x square minus two x plus one by two. 
this is multiplied by x square by 4 then I am getting this one now I have to subtract while subtracting this minus minus this will become plus this will become minus 1 by 2 ok subtracting while plus x square minus your cancels it will remain with plus 2x minus 1 by 2 ok now what I have to multiply to this 4 to get my plus 2x I have to eliminate this 2x therefore what I have to multiply to 4 that is k to get 2x that is nothing but k equal to 2x divided by 4 2x divided by 4 this is 1 by 2 1 by 2 that is x by 2 I have to multiply that is a simple method of what I am showing you how to what to multiply therefore it is a plus x by 2 I have to sorry x by 2 I have to multiply to get 2x here this whole term is multiplied by x by 2 and a subtraction now consider again 4 minus 4d plus d square into x by 2 then what subtraction I have to do in this I will get here therefore 4 into x by 2 that is 2 ones are 2 twos are therefore 2x I will get minus 4 into differentiation of x by 2 is 1 by 2 plus second derivative of x by 2 will become 0 that is nothing but 2x minus 2 ok this term I have to subtract from this one that I am getting 2x minus 2 ok this thing I, I should subtract minus this will become minus become plus then plus 2x minus 2x cancels then minus 1 by 2 plus 2 you can use calculator or directly you can write it as it will become 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 LCM you can take LCM is 2 4 4 minus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 I am getting then what I have to multiply to what I have to multiply to this 4 to get 3 by 2 I have to check ok that I will calculate here as 4 into something constant I should get what plus 3 by 2 that is nothing but k equal to 3 by 8 I have to multiply is it clear then I will get that ok plus 3 by 8 is my quotient now 4 into 3 by 8 will become 3 by 2 next minus 4d into differential of this no x term is there therefore will become automatically 0 and second derivative also becomes 0 subtraction will become 0 reminder has remained the quotient as a 0 therefore this is my quotient therefore my pi3 my pi3 is nothing but the quotient what is going to that is x cube sorry x square divided by 4 plus x by 2 plus 3 by 8 is my pi3 then using all these pi's I will write my particular integral therefore particular integral yp is equal to ok it is nothing but 8 times 8 times pi1 my pi1 is what I calculated is x square e to the power 2x divided by 2 plus pi2 pi2 is my cos 2x divided by 8 cos of 2x divided by 8 plus pi3 is this one that is x square by 4 plus x by 2 plus 3 by 8 for simplicity yp equal to I can multiply this 8 inside then I am going to get it as 4x square e to the power 2x 8 it cancels plus cos x plus 2x square then this one is a 4x plus 3 is my required particular integral then the general solution or complete solution is given by ok therefore general solution y is nothing but yc plus yp my yc is nothing but c1 plus c2x into e to the power 2x plus yp is a 4x square e to the power 2x plus cos 2x sorry I could have written here cos 2x plus 
is the required complete solution or general solution okay like this some more examples in my next video on non homogeneous differential equations i'm going to do if you not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll get the notifications of my next videos like this video comment and also share this video thank you friends